electronics today's video we are going to see about Venn diagrams these are actually graphical representations or diagrammatic representations which is used for representing of uh, mathematical expressions or uh, logical expressions so in electronics we can use this Venn diagrams to actually represent logical expressions okay so how to make use of Venn diagrams to uh, to to produce logical expression or to simplify logical expressions let us see before that let's see some uh, basics about the Venn diagrams okay so uh, I'm going to uh, draw Venn diagrams it will be generally in the form of uh, circles that is if you draw a square like this and then a circle inside it uh, forms these type of diagrams are called Venn diagrams oh so if this circle is representing the variable a the portion outside this uh, A is called A complement. Okay. And this total A and A complement together forms the universal set. It is called U. U is actually universal set which is the, uh, the combination of all the subsets. Okay. So whichever variable is present, its complement, everything together we say it as universal set. So this is Venn diagram. So this type of diagrams are called Venn diagram. So in this circle we are representing the uh, variable A and in that the value of A is equal to 1 and when A is 1 A complement will be 0. So that is a simple logic. Okay. So this is Venn diagram. Now let us see what is the various expressions for various uh, uh, that is how various things are been expressed with the help of Venn diagram. Now consider that this set is or this circle represents A and outside it is A complement. Okay, so this is A and outside it is A complement. And again, another variable I am representing using separate diagram. This is B and outside it is B complement. Okay, now uh, consider that uh, I am going to represent these two variables together. In a single Venn diagram, it will look like this. This is my Venn diagram. I'm going to represent two of the variables. This is A. And then I'm going to represent B like this. This is B. Okay. So, this is set A or this is variable A and this one is B. Now, the central portion where we can see that the two sets are actually uh, intersecting. So the word is actually intersecting. This portion is called AB portion or you can write in set theory, you can write it as A intersection B. So in logical expression or in logical, uh, while writing logical expression, we write it as AB. That is, this region indicates AB expression for variable a and b when when diagram is drawn like this and this entire portion that is this portion combining both a and b we call it as a plus b that is this middle portion we can represent as and gate and this portion we can represent as or gate Okay, so that is a simple logic. This is A and this is B. The uh, combined area combining both A and B is called A plus B and this intersecting point is called AB. So I'll uh, draw it as separately for you as two Venn diagrams. Anyway, it is very clear. These things are very simple actually. If you understand it once, it's very easy. So these is these are the two sets. This portion represent what? It is A B. Okay. Now if I'm going to draw another Venn diagram like this and two variables A and B together they will contribute what? A plus B. Okay. So if this is A B the entire remaining portion except this portion that is this shaded portion except that shaded portion the entire portion is called a b whole complement right if this is a b this is a b whole complement 
and also if this forms a plus b and the remaining portion will will be a plus b complement so that is a logic so generally also if we draw a variable like this and we call it as a and the outside portion we call as a complement right so similarly if we are to take the uh, the complement of a particular region means if this is ab the remaining portion will be ab complement okay next let us consider this shaded portion so there is a variable a there is a variable b we are only taking this much of shaded portion so this portion is nothing but we are taking b but we are excluding the portion where that is intersecting that is where b is intersecting with a so this shaded portion is clearly see it is a complement b okay we don't have to take any portion where there is a coming so this portion is actually portion where a is intersecting with b so we are taking that so a complement into b and similarly if you take this half portion what will be the result or what is the expression of if this is a complement b itself what is this shaded portion this shaded portion we can say it as b complement a very simple right we are taking a portions of a take in product with the portions where b is excluded completely so that much is this shaded portion we are not taking this middle portion okay where both the sets are coming together or both the variables are coming together next even though this is the expression we can also have another expression with a uh, union and intersection okay that is uh i'll write once again see i'm going to draw the variables once again so what is the uh, portion that is this portion what is this portion represented as see here these are variables a and b so we are excluding the middle portion we are taking the other portions so what is the expression for that okay what is the expression for the middle portion it is a b right yeah what is the expression for this total two circles entirely it is a plus b we have discussed about it already so this portion that is the portion lifting out this ab is actually a plus b minus ab right if you see it clearly so we are excluding how much how much portion this much we are taking the all other portions of a entirely and b entirely excluding the intersection so we know that a plus b is this much this is a this is a and this is b totally to forms a plus b yeah then this middle portion is ab so if you are excluding the middle portion means a plus b minus ab very simple right so that is a another simple logic next let's see some of the uh, questions for venn diagrams and before that we'll do a small uh, three variable venn diagram also next one is a three variable venn diagram there are three variables a b and c now let us see uh, what are the various regions coming in this venn diagram okay so what is this region that is inside region what is that inside region called as if you see this region there you can see there is b variable coming there is c variable also coming but there is no a variable right so we have excluded this much of portion where a variable is coming so you have to write it as a complement b c right similarly what is uh, this portion coming is what is this portion called as shaded what is this portion this black shaded portion the black shaded portion will shade this also okay yeah the red shaded portion we have said it is a bar b c the black shaded portion where we can see there is variable a there is variable c but there is no variable b so the back black shaded portion is a c b complement similarly in the top portion there you can see also there is a portion here and that is called 
Similar to this, you can write this portion as there is A, there is B, but there is no C. So, A, B, C complement. Now, what is the middle portion called as? We'll mark it with blue again, this middle portion. There you can find A also, B also and C also. So, the middle blue portion is A, B, C. That is, it is an intersection of variables A, B and C. So, this type of uh, variables, there is three variable uh, Venn diagrams also. You can see mostly in the higher end examinations like gate exams and ISRO exams, you can face these three variable Venn diagram type of questions. Okay, you'll be giving some Venn diagrams. You need to find what is the expression for that Venn diagram. So, I'm including this uh, Venn diagrams also uh, in digital logic, uh, so digital electronics playlist. So, if you want to prepare for any of the examinations, please do refer the video from the digital electronics playlist. Okay. Next, let's do some problems uh, for Venn diagrams. So, the questions are, uh, write the logical expression for these shaded portions or these Venn diagrams. So, uh, the first one is very simple. It is uh, the intersection of the two sets A and B. So, the answer is A, B. Next one, this also we have discussed. There is one variable A, there is another variable B. We are taking the portion where uh, B is not intersecting with A and the entire portion remaining of A. So, it is A, B complement. Okay. Or in reverse also you can write B complement A. Then this portion, uh, this shaded portion of this three variable Venn diagram, there is A, there is B, there is C. So, we are taking the portion where B is not intersecting with A or C. So, the uh, response or the expression is A complement, B, C complement. So, these are the very simple logical expressions for these Venn diagrams. So, these Venn diagrams, why they are called Venn diagrams? Because they are invented by John Venn person, the person called John Venn. So, that's why uh, the name is Venn diagram. And for simplifying these type of logical expressions, we can use Venn diagram. Let us do some more examples. Next, let us write the logical expression for these two Venn diagrams. So, the uh, above one uh, is very easy. You can see that this is a variable, this circle. These circles actually represent variables. Okay. So, I hope that by this time you have understood that much. So, the circle, inside the circle, the variable value is 1. Outside the circle, the variable value is 0. So, I think that is a basic concept. Uh, so, uh, these two portions uh, together, we call them as A plus B that we have already discussed. So, what will be the remaining shared portion? It is A plus B complement will be that. Now, this part, what is this uh, shaded portion? The shaded portion in blue. You can see that we are taking the A variable entirely. See here, here also we are taking A variable entirely. And also we are taking this much of the shaded portion. So, what, what is that called? So, that is A plus, what is this much of shaded portion? That is uh, B and C is there, but A is not there. So, that is A complement B, C, right? So, that is this shaded portion. Entirely A variable and also A complement B, C is this small shaded portion. So, together, if you write the logical expression for this uh, three variable Venn diagrams, you uh, you can write it as A complement B, C plus A is the expression. Okay, so these are some of the Venn diagram uh, concepts and also some of the questions. Generally, the questions can be uh, to write the logical expression for this Venn diagram. What is a shaded portion? Uh, what is the expression for the shaded portion in the Venn diagram? Generally, they will be saying that what is the uh, expression for the Venn diagram because uh, when we are writing the expression for a Venn diagram means we will consider the shaded portion normally. So, you have to uh, do these type of problems. These Venn diagram problems are very important if you are practicing for the higher end examinations like ISRO, gate examinations, gate examinations especially. Venn diagrams are very important. Uh, you can face two or three questions. Uh, maximum one question, at least one question will be there. Okay. So, uh, these type of questions are very important and these uh, can be used for logical simplification. So, I really and also while uh, taking this shaded portion, the expression is a complement B, C, right? And if you uh, write the uh, digital expression for that uh, in binary, that is what is the expression? It is 0, 1, 1 will be this portion, okay? 
if you uh, take the order of variables like a b c here a is not present so a is zero that is why we have written it as a complement then uh, b is one so that is b is present so b is one c is one so this sh small shaded portion we can call it as uh, a complement b c this is not a b c a complement b c and we can represent it in binary number system that is 0 1 1 okay so this uh, logic also you can use uh, make use to solve this type of question okay I hope that you found uh, this video useful for your preparation uh, you understood that how to uh, make use of Venn diagrams to solve logical expression how can we represent uh, using Venn diagrams and what are the basic concepts what is intersection what is um, what is union what is uh, that is what is a plus b what is a b what is a complement what is a so likewise okay so i really hope that you found this video useful for your preparation if yes please do give it a thumbs up and also share this video with maximum of friends and if you want more videos please do subscribe to the channel thanks for watching and keep on watching